What's your self-talk? All right. So thank you for being here. My name is Jabari McLennan. If you have never heard of me, and I focus on that really important question. What's your self-talk? And that's just focusing on where you are and focusing on where you want to go. And that's in order to do that, you have to have a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset means that I'm willing to get the results that I want in my life. And in order to do that, I have to maintain a growth mindset. Or in the very opposite, as a fixed mindset. And that's where we want, that's what I want you to get away from. So every Tuesday, I come here, 745, and I talk to you about the unique things that you can do, that I do, and other people have done to get them from where they are to where they want to go. Because we all want to get better in life. We all want to have different results in our life. But here's the thing. Do you feel like doing it? Most of the time you don't. You don't feel like doing the thing that you need to do. So what happens? You end up don't getting the results you want. You procrastinate on the results that you want. Or you just don't do it. Let's just be honest. As my mentor, Willie Moore Jr. say, fill that out. Let's just be honest. Because when you're honest with yourself, then you can really get the results you want. Jimmy, what's going on, brother? Thank you for joining in, man. Uh, so let's focus on what do you need to do to get out of that if you don't feel like doing it, but you need to do it anyways, right? So I have, I'm going to do a little something different today. But before I go into actually a clip that talks about a unique tip or how most people do feel and some of the lives that we actually feed ourselves, I want you to let me know what is something you don't feel like doing. So for me, sometimes I don't feel like working out, but guess what? I work out. And I come to you all the time after I'm finished working out and I say, what's your self talk? And I tell you some inspiration that I was telling myself so I can push through it. You know, so your health is your responsibility. You know, God gave you the beautiful body, so you have to be willing to take care of it. And so that's how I view it. So when I finish working out, I don't feel like working out. I come to you and I just give you some inspiration after I finish working out. And you'll see on this page that I posted a lot. And actually yesterday I was in the library and I actually had 25 minutes and I decided to work out. Why? Because earlier that day I was supposed to work out, but I didn't. I told myself I was going to wake up at a certain time. And I did, but guess what? Let's just be honest. This, that's what it's about, being honest with yourself. I got up, <laughs> put on my clothes, had my workout clothes good, and then I was about to get ready to set up my my station so I can work out at home. I do a home workout. I do T25. It's a 25-minute high-intensity workout. That's why I'm always sweating. Uh, I sweat easily, too, so if you, you, you was wondering. So I sweat real easily. And then I sat down. You know what happened. You sat down, put my socks on, get my workout gear on. I went back to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I went back to sleep. I'm like, dang it. And so I got back up. And later on that day, I was at the, I was doing some work, doing some training for the company I worked for. And we had that lunch break and we had an hour and a half lunch break. So I said, you know what? I'm about to use this 25 minutes wisely. I didn't do it last time, so I had a chance to make it up. And you know what? I felt better because even though I didn't do it at the time I was supposed to do it, I did it anyway. So I challenge you. I challenge you. What is something you struggle with when it comes to doing things and you just don't feel like doing it? So I just want you to comment below. Just let me know. What is one thing that you don't feel like doing? And I'm going to actually show you this clip Why? and just... Kind of give us a little bit more guidance on what we're about to talk about. And this is Miss Mel Robinson. I love this show. It's Impact Theory. It's the perfect example of what I want to continue to build. What's yourself talking to? Um, and Mel Robbins is just a speaker. She's a coach. And she talks about the five-second rule and why we need to learn how to use it to start doing the things we don't feel like doing. So I'm going to have her just explain a little bit, you know, what we usually uh, or thinking when we need to do something we don't feel like doing, and then we'll just go on from there, okay? So let's check it out. Because at some point, we all bought into this lie that you've got to feel ready in order to change. Yeah. We bought into this, this complete falsehood that at some point, you're going to have the courage. At some point, you're mm -hmm. going to have the confidence. And it's total bullshit, frankly. I don't, are we allowed to swear on this Absolutely. show? Okay. Um, it's, it's complete garbage. And so there are so many people in the world, and, and, and you, know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. Mm -hmm. And that's not true. 
because the way that our minds are wired and the fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult. Mm -hmm. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you want to do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're going to have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. Motivation's garbage. You, you only feel motivated to do the things that are easy, right? All right. So let's stop there. PG, what's going on? So let's stop there. We only, she, that's the point. We only feel like doing the things that are easy. We only feel like focusing on doing those things that, uh, that's easy. So let's ask ourselves that if we did only the thing that were e that were easy for us, then will we really be productive? When we have to make those hard decisions, what are you really getting? I'm just I want you to just meditate on this. It's like a rhetorical question. Are you really getting the results that you want when you only do the things that come to you easier or that you feel like doing? Probably not, because half of the time. Prime example, go back to my personal example. And if you, you're just joining in, so we're, we're talking about, you know, what to learn to do more of what you don't feel like doing. So what is it that you don't feel like doing? And then how? And we think it's this magic formula. We think that we are going to get better at feeling in the moment. So then we'll wait till next time. We'll put off the next time and start procrastinating. And we don't get the results we want, right? So we need to start understanding what are the things I don't feel like doing. So mine was working out. So I want you to comment below. What is something that you know you don't feel like doing, but you need to do it? All right. So we'll get into, you know, some of the practicalities on what we want to do to start implementing that and also using a really important question. What's your self-talk? And ask yourself, I don't feel like doing, but I know I need to do it because I want these results to do it. All right. That's a simple way. That's a simple way. Okay. So let's go back to what she was saying. You know, most of the times she starts talking about research and brain. And I love that because our brains are wired to do what we tell it to do. So are our body. Our body is going to do what our brain for what we tell ourselves. So we constantly live in our mind. So that's why I'm real big on what your self-talk because you have to be careful what you feed yourself, what you tell yourself. Because if you tell yourself bad things, negative things, disgusting things, then guess what? Eventually, that's going to come out in your mouth in some form or way. And you have to be willing to accept that it's your choice to look at or to read or to take in any information that is going to either help you get the results that you want or that you don't want. So let's continue to make yourself better at taking in the right information. Garbage in, garbage out, right? Okay, so... And Mel Robbins talking about, you know, it's those things that we're uncertain about. I want to talk on, about that. Most of the time when you have to make a decision or you want to do something, you don't feel like doing, you're uncertain of what the results are going to be. Guess what? You still need to do it. And this is one thing that I've learned and I'm, I am learning. As I told you, this is going to be a journey. You see the setup is different for me this week. It's going to continue to get better. Um, you know, it, sometimes it's going to be background noise. It's, it's things are going to happen, but I promise you, I'm going to continue to get better, but I'm uncertain on things that's going to happen. And if I'm uncertain about the, what's going to happen, if I commit to something, I have to be willing to go through it and learn what the outcome is going to be, even if it's not the outcome that I wanted and then learn from that mistake and move forward. See, half of the time when we don't feel like doing something, but then we do it anyways, what happens? We do it and it didn't go out or didn't make out. It did not go the way we wanted it to go. So if it didn't go the way we wanted to go, we're like, you know what? I'm done. I'm finished. I don't want to do this no more. It didn't, I, I, I wanted it to look like this. I wanted the results to look like this. But guess what? It didn't work out that way. And here's the thing. You need to be willing to accept that it's not going to be perfect the first time. You're not going to be great at it the first time. You're going to make a mistake. It's okay to keep moving forward. It's okay that you're uncertain of the results. Guess what? You took action. 
you did something. You did something that was going to get you closer to what you wanted in your life. One of the things I want to do is grow this show to have thousands of people that come in and then start joining in. But guess what? It's going to take time for that. I have to get better. I have to plan better. I have to do things better. But I have to do it anyways. Okay? So, what is something that you don't feel like doing? What? Just just type in something. Even if it's on replay, I still want you to be able to type in what is something you don't feel like doing. Like I said, mine was workout. That was the example that I gave. And... You know, what is something that you have to do on a weekly basis that you don't feel like doing? What is something you don't feel like doing on a monthly basis? And things come about and things are uncertain sometimes. But you need to do it anyways, right? So what are the things that you need to do? And what are the things that you want in life? What the, what are the relationships that you want? Who? What is the business that you want to start? What kind of income do you want to start making in your life? What kind of relate relationships? What how much more time do you want to spend with your your family? How much more time do you want to spend with those that you love? I mean, how much more time do you want to spend with people that's like minded, people who are of greater value, and people who are, may be smarter than you? But guess what? They have to. Um, you have to make yourself better. So I like this one off. Let's try this again. See, things don't work out all the time, right? So you got to be ready. You got to be ready to adjust. So that was my fault. So let's see if we can get a little light in here. All right. So you see, I'm a dark brother. So the dark brother needs as much light as possible. So my light was a little dim. So guess what? It happens. Move forward. What are the results you want? And what do you want to get in your life? It, the time time is over. The, the the time for excuses, the time to stop thinking about it is over. Start doing what you want to do. Then you'll get the people that you want in your corner. You start getting the right type of friends. You start getting the right type of individuals. You start getting the type of results that you want. You don't get the results you want by focusing on what you don't want. How many times do you say, hey, I want I want whatever. I want I want to make this amount of income. Prime prime example for me when I was I'm still in sales, but when I was in car sales. And so I want this results. Okay, what are the things you need to do? And then do them. I did it. And then when I did it consistently, I made mistakes. I had to refine the process. I needed to do better. But guess what? I started getting the results I wanted. So what do you want? What do you want? And start focusing on that. Start t- subscribing to this show and you'll start seeing that I bring people in. That's all I'm here for. That is exactly why I exist, to learn how to further to you to get from where you are to where you want to go. All right? So, thank you for tuning in. Every Tuesday, 745, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to ask you that one question. What's your self-talk? What are the results you want? And how are you having a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset? And what do you need to do to get from where you are to where you want to go? And guess what? Start with that one question. What's your self-talk?